Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI. To get to Leonardo.ai, you simply type Leonardo.ai and I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video and it will bring you to this page. With Leonardo AI, you are able to get great control over your generations and then you can also create unique production and ready assets uh, from pre-trained AI models or you train your own. And then you have Creative Studio where they are building an entire generative content production platform. You come to Leonardo.ai, then you click on launch app here. Then down here, you will put your email and then you click on count me in. And you notice here that they have a surge in popularity and therefore they're receiving thousands of applications and they explain all that. Don't worry if you get to this page because you can join the Discord. So you'll click on join Discord and then you complete the registration on Discord. You answer these questions for Leonardo.ai. You give your name here. You select the purpose for which you'll be using it. In this case, I'll select education. And then you confirm that you're over 18 years. And then you click on next. And then which role best describes you as a consumer or professional or developer. So you click on one. In this case, I'll select a consumer. And then you click on start using Leonardo. It, it brings you to this homepage for Leonardo. And it's so nice. You, If you look like at this third model here, it's so clean. Let's just click on that and look at the details. Look at the details of that model generated using Leonardo.ai. So let's give it an image that we can relate with by simply giving it a prompt here. A warrior with a book and sword. Then I'll leave these details as they are, but then the number of images here, I'm going to select two. Then for the dimensions here, I'll reduce that to 10, 1024 by 716. And again, we can also adjust that manually here for the aspect ratio. So in this case, let me just put a portrait as 16 by 9. And then we can also either use the control net where we can upload an image into image to use control net features. But in this case, let's not use that for this generation. We are going to be using it in the next one. So I want a warrior with a book and a sword, and I want uh, two images. Let me confirm we have our two images selected there. Then I'll click on generate. And there we have it. We have our warrior holding a sword. But you notice our warrior doesn't have a book as we had instructed. So, but let's use this image to use, to edit that. So I like the first image, I'll click on that. This is the original image. Then I can download it. I can unzoom it and it will use five tokens. Then let me click on remove backgrounds so that we only have the warrior standing without any background. So this may take time to remove the background. So I'll continue to the next one. Then we are going to be coming to it as it removes the background. So I'll close that. But you notice here it's working so we won't lose the work. The next thing we can use uh, in Leonardo AI is prompt generation. So I'll click here on prompt generation. And this tool will allow you to come with more complex prompt ideas from a simple prompt. Uh, for instance, if you want to type a car and click ID it, it will come up with a number of more complex concepts, which include a car. So the number of prompts to generate here. So I'll click on two. And then I'll enter a basic idea. Then I'll just give a basic idea such as cut. Then I'll click on idea so that it generates ideas about my general idea about the cut. So I'll click on idea. And so it's now generating. It has generated these two. A slick black patched atop of tree. <laughs> a slick black cut patched atop a tree branch, it's far glistening in the moonlight, or we have a mischievous tabby cat with bright green eyes, it's far ruffled from a recent adventure. So 
I can choose one of these. So notice I had the idea of a cart, but I didn't know how to generate the prompt. So now I have the two to select from, and I can select more here, either four, six, or eight. So I like the second one about the mischievous tabby cat. If I want to edit this, maybe I like it, but I want to add a few things. I can add something here and click on edit so that I'm able to edit this one. But if I like it the way it is, I'll click directly on generate. And we selected the number of images here to be two by default, bright green eyes, and it's fast ruffled. Uh, there we have it. So we have our cat there with green eyes and uh, it is generated. So if I click on this one, then I'm able to see how my cat looks like. Then I have the second image, this one. So I can choose the one that I want. Maybe I would want this one. So I can click on download and I'm able to download that image, can save it. And then I can also do other things like remove background as we said. We can upscale and uh, using all these tools down here. So I'm going to close that. So we can add a negative prompt here. Type what you don't want to see in the image. So in this case, I can still give the same prompt here, but I type what I don't want to see. So I have this cut, but I want to just give a prompt. But let's just use a different one. Let's give a prompt here, a man with a book, and then we put a negative prompt here no shoes then we just click on generate so we have our image generated there and you notice uh it looks nice we have these two options we have this one and we have the second one and remember for the images with a negative prompt you can currently they are not downloadable so even if i click on that i'm not able to directly download that coming soon to paid subscribers but without the negative prompt then i'm able currently to download but again this will depend on the time you'll be watching this tutorial next i can generate images from whatever is in the community so to do that i'll type my prompt here maybe let me type a cow and then for the fine-tune model here I select on custom model and then I'll search from these ones. Then I'll select this one uh, to be the one where we will generate. I click on generate with this one. And then for the style, I stick to Leonardo style. And then I'll be using the pixel art that I've selected from fine tune model. Then I'll click on generate. And so it's now generating two images from the custom model. Now it may not really be so accurate because the two may not be related, but it takes the default setup. You now notice we have our cow generated. You notice we have our cow generated from the pixelated. Let's try a different a different one. So, so I'll type here the prompt, a golden ring. Then from the fine-tune models, I'll scroll down to select custom model and then I'll come to either platform models or community models. So I'll click on either of them. So I'll search here for gold or golden. Then I'll search and see if I'll get anything. So and I think this one looks better. So I'll click on that and I want it to generate from these pieces. So I'll click on generate with this model. I'll click on that. And then here I'll come and click on generate. I don't want to use any negative prompt. So I'll click on generate. That is a golden ring. From the crystal deposit. So let's see how it will generate. You notice it generated two images because we selected two images here. And there it is. You notice we have our golden rings that look so beautiful. So that is how you can use the so that is how you can use the select model to generate images using Leonardo.ai. So I hope that has been helpful and that is how you use Leonardo.ai to generate such 
nice images. So kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.